Welcome to another episode of The Boss Experience, the podcast that helps you turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income. My name is Michelle Davis and I'm your host. And I am super excited about today's topic, which is the most valuable lesson you can learn in business. So before we hop into the topic, I just want to say I am super excited about season six. So this is not just another episode. This is season six. And the Boss Experience podcast just hit a milestone, which is crossing the 100 mark for episodes. And so that is quite a feat. When I started this podcast back in October of 2021, you know, I had a vision for where I wanted things to go, but I didn't know how long it was going to take me to get there. And I was prepared for everything I needed to do to get where I wanted to be. And so now 101 episodes in, I am super excited to be able to deliver content to, you know, my listeners and my, my viewers. And it's really been a great great journey. So I just want to thank everyone who's tuned in, who's left a review. You know, I I really, really appreciate it. And thank you for being on this, this podcasting journey with me. The thing that I want to emphasize in this episode, when we talk about, you know, the most valuable business lesson that I learned is it's about the process. And so whether it was my podcast or whether it was you know, some other aspect of my business, it's understand your process. I remember when I started the podcast, you know, everyone told me right from the start, you know, outsource it, outsource it. Why are you doing the edits yourself? Why are you, you know, taking so much time to do all of the production part or the post-production of the podcast? And I said, I, I want to learn the process because if I don't know the process, how am I going to know what someone else is supposed to do? How, am I, how will I know what the options are? How will I know what to do and how to train someone else? Because pe- no one stays with you forever. And so at some point, you're going to have to train someone else or communicate to someone else what you want. And so the big mis one big mistake people make is they don't learn the process. And so my first mentor, which was a business coach of mine, gave me a very powerful lesson. And he advised me, never turn over your marketing just totally over. To some to someone, whether it's an agency, whether it's you know a freelancer, never turn over your marketing. And I didn't understand it at the time. This was when I was brand new in business, and I didn't understand like what he was talking about until later on. And once I was able to reflect and and really absorb what he was saying, I was able to appreciate the advice because he was one hundred percent correct. And for those of you who don't know, prior to being a full-time entrepreneur, I was in the world of, uh, I was a nonprofit manager and I had done that for maybe 16 years. So I have a lot of experience, you know, with program development, leading people. And as a manager, I also hired people. And one of the things I learned, even in my nonprofit career, is never put someone in charge or put someone in a position that knows more than you about your job, okay? And I was able to conclude that based on just, you know, things I observed, but also, you know, when you think about it, when people leave and they change positions, you don't ever, ever want to be stuck. And that is a lesson that totally translates into business as well, because you don't want to be stuck. If someone leaves, you don't want to have to find someone else, you know, and hope that they can translate what the other person was doing and still produce the same results. 
And although it's, it feels like, the, uh, you know, a dirty job or, you know, we have a tendency to hire someone or want to outsource the things that we don't like to do, we need to dig in and, and learn that process. Because if someone, if you hire someone, you don't know if they're doing a good job. You don't know, especially as it relates to marketing, you don't know if they're doing a good job. There's a lot of trash out there. And if you don't know what you want your level of marketing to be, how do you convey that to someone else? As the business owner, you need to set the tone for what your marketing is going to be. What is it going to look like? What is your marketing plan? Sure, hire a coach to help you walk through those things, but you need to be at the forefront of what's happening. Don't just turn things over to someone because you don't want to deal with it and you don't want to learn it. And my first mentor, you know, he was absolutely correct. And I've seen so many people fall. I've seen so many people flounder in this business, this online business space, because they don't learn the marketing piece. And when you don't learn the marketing piece, that means you don't know how to acquire a client. You don't even know what it costs to acquire a client. You don't know what, you know, your key performance indicators to know whether your marketing is doing well or not doing well. You don't know the different types of marketing. It's, you know, marketing isn't just marketing. There's different aspects and different goals associated with your marketing efforts. And so when you turn over your entire, the heartbeat of your business, essentially, you know, marketing is the heartbeat of your business, marketing and sales. It's how you bring people into your business and it's how you stay in business. Because if you can't bring in client leads as a coach, and you can't, you know, get the sale and enroll someone into your services, you're not going to be in business long. So my lesson for this episode, as we enter season six, is learn your process. That's why with every program I've ever implemented, I always make sure that I design my programs in a way that my clients actually learn how to do things for themselves. My goal as a coach is to make sure that you have the knowledge to go on after you leave my services and be able to make tweaks to your program, be able to be able to understand your marketing metrics, because I would be doing you a disservice if I took you through my business mentoring program and I didn't actually mentor you to get your own results. And so that is, you know, in in line with, you know, just the whole thing for the season, which is beyond the blueprint, because there's, you know, you can get a blueprint, you know, from anywhere about how to start a business, but there's so many underlying skills and, and nuggets that you need to actually succeed in that business. And so mentorship is so important. And, you know, I can't say if I did not get that advice from my from my first business mentor, whether or not I would have made that mistake of hiring someone. I know I was on the verge. I was tempted to hire a, a virtual assistant or somebody to help me because I felt so overwhelmed and I felt so lost. But that would have been the biggest mistake I would have made in my business. And so when people look at me and they say, oh, why are you doing that on your own? You can hire someone. Yes, I could hire someone, but I wouldn't understand the process. And if I don't understand the process, how do I know whether or not they're doing a good job? How do I know if my money is being best spent with that agency or that person? How will I know for myself the key performance indicators to know when something's doing well? And how how will I know what I'm what my business is capable of for a particular budget? Like how many leads can I bring in for a particular budget? How will I know those things if I don't learn myself? So that is by far the most valuable business lesson you can learn. 
is understand the process. Because when you are in charge of your process and you understand what's happening in your business, that is when you can thrive. You can't thrive if you only have part of the knowledge and you're intimidated by the rest and you're intimidated by learning what it truly what truly goes into being a successful marketer or getting those client leads into your business and you know since i learned marketing having come from a professional career you know a nonprofit learning marketing was one of the best things i could do because instead of you know struggling to bring in client leads I can generate anywhere from 50 to 90 leads a month, you know, which grows my client base. It grows my email list and it generates the business that I desire and want because it's all about setting the foundation. It's all about setting the foundation and the found part of the foundation is getting the help that you need to make the impact that you desire to make in both you know, your life, your business, and in your bank account. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the podcast. And if you're interested in learning how to turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five, visit ceoblueprintacademy.com. That's ceoblueprintacademy.com. And once again, thanks for tuning in. And I hope you'll tune in to a future episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. That's a wrap. Be well and take care.